You only cuss off camera. Someone assumed that I make more money than Sam. You have baby fever. You're Taylor Swift's sister. A lot of you guys assume that I am an introvert. You don't fart in front of Sam. I assume you want to be a stay-at-home mom one day and possibly homeschool. It feels like you are reading my soul. Someone assumed that I hate living in Atlanta. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be your assumptions about me. I've been a little nervous to do this because I just don't know what people think of me. I normally don't like open that up on the internet because I just like to not think about that. But I thought it would be a fun video idea. I haven't done this in literally years. It's been since I was in my dorm in college. And now I am married, lots have changed. A lot of you guys are new here, so I thought it would be fun to do this. So if you don't know what this is, I pretty much just ask you guys what you assume about me and I tell you if it's true or not and if I agree or disagree or whatever it is. So it feels very vulnerable to read all of your guys' assumptions about me, but most of you guys are really sweet. And some of you guys, think that I am one way and it's just totally not true. So I'm here to debunk anything that you guys think that is false. So I did ask you guys on my Instagram with this picture. So if you want to be included in my next one, be sure to follow me over there. Also, if you guys want me to do another one with Sam now that we're married, I think that would be really fun. Let me know in the comments if you want to see an assumption about mine and Sam's relationship, our marriage, whatever. So I took a ton of screenshots. Some of them are going to be more rapid fire and others I will definitely elaborate more on. So we're going to start off easy and we're going to start off with you're shorter than people think. And yes, when people meet me, they're like, wow, you're really short, which is funny. It wasn't a common theme until I read this and I was like, yes, I know people think I'm taller than I am, but I'm like 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. I'm really not sure which one. I think I'm somewhere in between that. I just turned the light on because the sun keeps coming in and out, so hopefully we can just keep on rolling. So sorry if the lighting changes a lot. Um, the next question made me giggle. <laughs> it said you were popular in high school, and this is really funny to me because I don't know how you even define that, but I just kind of laugh at my high school years because I felt like I was friends with everybody, and I don't mean that as in like the popular way. I just mean that as in like I had a ton of different friends in different groups. Like I feel like the popular people only stick to like their group, but I had friends that I would consider in the popular crowd. I was friends with people in band, people on my soccer team, people on my DECA team. Literally, if you sat next to me in class, we were bound to become friends because I would just love to talk to people. So I would say no, but I did have a lot of friends because I just enjoy getting to know people, but I wouldn't say it in like the popular, like what you would consider like a popular person kind of way. So one of you guys assumes that I got straight A's growing up, and this is so far from the truth. I was a terrible student. I did not care about school. I was not into it. I did want to have a good grade because I wanted to please like my parents and my teachers, but I just wasn't very good at school, and I enjoyed the more like social aspect of it all. Um, I did have good grades like I was on honor roll and things like that But I remember in elementary school. I did not have good grades like I was dreading report card times and it was just really bad So wrong. I did not get straight A's someone assumed that Sam was my first boyfriend and the answer is no He was not I actually only had one other boyfriend besides Sam um, and then another assumption was that I dated a lot of guys, which is also untrue. I've only had two boyfriends my whole life and I married one of them. Someone assumes that I miss living in Tennessee and the answer is yes, I do really miss Tennessee. Similarly, someone assumed that I hate living in Atlanta and that is not true. I also love Atlanta. It's hard because I feel like my heart has been in two places and I don't know. It's like Tennessee, like whenever I'm there, it just feels like home. But it's because that's like where I grew up, whereas Atlanta feels like my new home, if that makes any sense. But I don't hate it. So one of you assumes that me and Sam will be getting a golden retriever soon. I don't think I can answer that one. Someone assumed that your bathroom counter is cluttered. Oh my gosh, absolutely, every day. I'm a mess, I'm a very, very messy person. A lot of people assume I'm very clean. That is very wrong, I am such a mess. These next ones, it feels like you are reading my soul, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Like these, I read it and I was like, oh wow, yep, that's me. It says you hold yourself to a really high standard and it hurts when you let people down. Yes, I really, 
I never want to disappoint people and I know that's not possible so I always hold myself to a high standard and I don't want to let anybody down so when I do I'm really hard on myself so yes I would agree with that assumption it says I assume you hate negative feelings so you distract yourself from hard circumstances yeah that's me I am the worst I don't like sitting in my feelings I don't like being sad so I just pretend everything is fine even if everything's falling apart <laughs> You have a type A personality. I think I do. Like, I love planning. I love, like, getting everything in order and being organized. But then at the same time, I don't want to be restricted by that plan. And I really am very messy. I don't know. That's why I'm like, am I type A? I feel like I'm type A with my life. Like, with things that need to be done. Like, if I'm going somewhere new, I'm going to research everything I can to make sure I get the best experience out of where I'm going. But I'm not going to plan, like, every single thing we're doing at each hour of the day. Like, I'm just going to have a list of restaurants that I'd like to go to, if that makes sense. My card was full, so I just had to erase a ton of footage. But back to the questions. This one says, I assume you want to be a stay-at-home mom one day and possibly homeschool. Probably a year ago, I would have said, we're not homeschooling but it's something we have definitely considered. So I think I do want to be a stay-at-home mom, but I also might still do YouTube. I'm really not sure about the stay-at-home mom, but yes, like I don't want to have a job that takes me away from the home. If I have a job, it will be in-home. And yeah, we actually might homeschool. We haven't like, we haven't definitively decided on that. I think it depends where we are. We want to do like a co-op to get our kids outside of the house and like still being with other children. Um, but yeah, we, we don't know. The world's going to pretty crazy places. So that's why we've kind of been maybe considering it. Okay. This next one is really funny, but it says you don't fart in front of Sam. And this is true, which I feel like a lot of people will be shocked, but I have never been the kind of person like you will never hear me burp. You will never hear me fart. Like I just don't do that around anybody. Like, I don't know, I've just always been very grossed out by that, and I just think it's kind of, okay, this might be a little blunt, but I think it's unattractive when people just do that freely, like, as if it's no big deal. Like, if it happens on accident, that's a totally different story. I used to have girls on my soccer team that would, like, burp and be like, did you hear that? And other girls were like, that was a good one, and I was always just kind of like, yeah, I don't really love that. Like, it doesn't seem very, like, ladylike to me. But I don't know. I know that's a very like controversial opinion to have, but I just do it. I don't judge other wives that fart in front of their husbands. I kind of wish I could bring myself to do that, but I just can't. The next assumption is you love to host and invite people into your home, but also like quiet evenings. Yes, I love both. If I could have both in one day, that would be like ideal. I love opening up our home to people, but I also love having evenings where I just read all night. Okay, this one made me laugh out loud. It says you like Indian food but can't handle the spice and wrong. I love Indian food and I can handle the spice. Let me tell you, I love spicy food. I really, really do. A lot of you guys assume that I am an introvert and that is wrong. I also got a lot of assumptions that I am shy, which is also wrong, but I am quiet when I first meet people. I'm not nervous about it. I'm not like overthinking. I just am more quiet, but I love being around people. Like if I'm having a bad day and I go out in public or go like over to someone's house, I come home and I've got like level 10 energy. And I think I just get a lot of energy from people. So I think that's what makes me an extrovert, but I'm not like crazy like always talking whenever I'm with you. I mean, I do talk a lot, especially if I'm comfortable around you, I talk a lot. But yeah, I feel like I'm not as extroverted as some other people are. And I can't be quiet until you get to know me. I actually had multiple of these. Someone said, you are pro-life. And then this person said, which is iconic. And yes, I am pro-life. And I've posted about that on my Instagram. And I can get so scared about, you know, what people will say because our culture is so just mean just flat out mean and i'm trying to just grow out of that and say i don't care like 
I am not going to be quiet out of fear of man. I think I need to stand up for what is right and I absolutely believe that every human being has the right to life. <laughs> Someone assumed you're Taylor Swift's sister. Yes, next question. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I get told that all the time, like especially by strangers. They say I talk like Taylor Swift and I look like Taylor Swift, specifically when my hair is curled. And there is a photo of Taylor Swift when she is younger and it looks just like me as a kid. It's really really weird. Someone assumed that I make more money than Sam and sometimes that can be true. So Sam is on a salary and I am not so every month we know exactly how much he's going to make unless he gets like a bonus or something like that. Whereas I am in freelance so I might do four sponsorships a month or I might just do one sponsorship a month and that will drastically change our income. Um, especially it depends on how many views I get on a video and so many different things. So there have been a few months where I make more money than Sam, but it is not often. Like often he makes more money than I do. Another assumption is that I don't listen to secular music, which is wrong. Now I don't listen to like, I was about to name like a local radio station, but that's not helpful for people that don't live near here. I do not listen to like rap and like that kind of um, I don't know what else you call that. I don't know that genre of things. I just do not like that kind of music. It kind of stresses me out and a lot of it is just like really dark messages. I like some pop music, but my favorite genres are obviously worship music, which is why I think people assume that. On my stories, I'll usually post like a worship song if I'm like doing latte art. I look at that as like a time that I can uplift people with a song that I think has like really encouraging lyrics and really God glorifying lyrics, but that doesn't mean that's all I listen to. I listen to a lot of country. I love country music and I also listen to a lot of Taylor Swift. <laughs> the next assumption is you have never smoked and that is true. I have no desire to in any substance. Like this is not just like a cigarette. This could be, you know, whatever is out there. I have no desire to. I don't feel like I missed out on anything. Like really never had any interest in that. This next assumption is that I partied a lot and that is also untrue. I don't know how many parties I've been to, maybe two my whole life. I went to one in high school, which I left early because I was the only one not drinking and I just didn't enjoy it. Like I was there because my friend had it. It was like after prom, but I knew going into that party, I wasn't planning on drinking and I was really like firm about it. And what's crazy is how many people were trying to get me to drink. Like they would not respect my no. And I remember being really bothered by that. Okay, next assumption, you only cuss off camera. That is untrue because I do not cuss. It's not a habit I desire to have. It's something I actively don't do. And thankfully, like even whenever I was younger, I didn't like live a life where I did and then I had to backtrack. Like I just never let that be a part of my vocabulary. So yeah, I do not. Let's end on the perfect one. And it says, you have baby fever. Yes, <laughs> I do. Um, but I know in my mind we have very, um, specific circumstances as to why we are not actively trying to have kids. And I think that they are wise decisions because I can't really get into it, but it's a lot of like private reasons. And one of the main ones is my health. Like I'm not in a place that would be best for that um but if it happens i know that is in god's plan and i'll be okay but i would prefer to kind of get everything in order so that i can healthily carry a baby into this world but with that being said i seriously like every time i see a baby i'm just like i love you and i want you and i want one and it's weird because this is like the first time in my life that it's like oh wow i could have one like i'm married and I feel ready in a way. I volunteer in our church's nursery and I thought that would be like birth control, um, but it's not, it's not at all. It has amped up my baby fever so much and I love those babies, but yes, I do have baby fever, but we're not trying, we're actively not trying. 
but I'm really excited to have a baby and I won't. <laughs> Those are all of your assumptions about me. I hope this is fun. I hope you learned a little bit more about me and I feel very vulnerable with some of these things, but I think it's really fun to include you guys in on my life. So let me know if you want to see me and Sam doing assumptions about us. I think that would be really fun. And if you do want to see that, be sure to follow me over on Instagram for whenever I post about it, you can submit your assumptions there. But thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new here, be sure to stick around and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.